channel, I'm Alexis aka The Sloth Reader and I'm here today to give you guys my TBR for the book Tubathon. So I will leave Ariel's challenge announcement video down below where she talks about everything that's part of the Booktubeathon, the challenges, the dates, everything like that in case you guys are interested in joining. I should not be joining. <laughs> um, against my better judgment, I'm going to be doing Booktubeathon this year, or trying to do Booktubeathon this year. Because the week that the Booktubeathon is happening is going to be the busiest week of the entire year for me. Um, I'm going on a week-long vacation at the end of the readathon, so I'm going to be doing all this stuff to prepare, like the week of. So realistically, I'm probably going to only read like two or three books. That's like, you know, being positive. But I really enjoyed doing it last year and I said I didn't want to miss out on it this year so here we are. Challenge number one is to let a coin toss decide your first read. So my two options for this one are um, Sing and Buried Sing by Jasmine Ward and Fans of the Impossible Life by Kate Skelsa. Um, if you guys missed my TBR jar pick video that I did for the second half of 2018, these were both picks that I picked out of my TBR jar, so, and they're both pretty small, like very easily doable for a readathon. So I figured these were both good choices, whichever one I end up reading. So I have my coin here, except I couldn't find uh, like a US quarter. So instead, I'm going to use this uh, Belize $1 coin that I have no idea where I got because I've never been to Belize. But this was in my purse, so we're gonna we're gonna use this. So we'll say that Sing Unburied Sing is heads and Fans of the Impossible Life is tails. Okay. Ah! Alright, let's see what it is. It's heads! Which means I will be reading Sing Unburied Sing by Jesmyn Ward, which I'm happy with because this book is like not even 300 pages, so it's kind of perfect for a readathon. Plus, I've been dying to read this one, so I'm really pleased with that. Question number two is read a book about something you want to do, and for this one I will be reading Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the Natural series, and this is basically like a Criminal Minds YA series, um, and it's about like FBI profiling, which is 100% something I would do if I like was qualified enough to be part of the FBI. I'm not, but I think this is really cool, and I really liked the first one in the series, so I'm very excited to read the second one. Challenge number three is to read a book and watch an adaptation, and for this one I will be listening to Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Um, this has recently been made into, I think it's a mini-series on HBO that stars Amy Adams, and I've heard this book is wild, and I've been super in the mood for thrillers lately, so this is like kind of perfect for the mood I've been in. Um, and also, the audiobook is unscribed. It's only like nine hours, which is totally doable for me in a week, so it's just perfect. I don't know when I'll get a chance to actually watch the adaptation. It probably won't be during the readathon, but I'm definitely interested to watch it. Challenge number four is to read a book with green on the cover, and for this one, I'm gonna go with Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson because. The little zombie hand right there is green, and I've been dying to read this book since it first came out. And this is another book that's barely over 300 pages. I think it's like 310 pages, so it is really good for a readathon. And I've just heard from so many people that this is so much fun and it's super fast paced, so I feel like I'll be able to easily, easily fly through this one. Challenge number five is the challenge everyone has been talking about, and that is to read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. Now, this challenge is actually really doable for me because I have this beanie that I wear like twice a week anyway. Um, this is my, I didn't feel like washing my hair, so I'm just gonna wear a hat beanie. I've had this thing for like 10 years, and I still wear it like, again, once a week because I love this thing. So I'm just gonna wear this, and that's easily doable for me. And the book that I'm going to read, I did pick a short one just because like it does get hot in that hat, and I'm gonna read In an Absent Dream by Shannon McGuire. This doesn't come out until January of 2019, but I just got it in the mail this past week, and I'm so excited to read it that I can't stand knowing it's sitting on my shelves and I haven't read it yet, so I will read it again if I have to before it comes out so I can like properly review it, but I'm really excited to read this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read it. Challenge number six is to read a book with a beautiful spine, and for that I'm gonna go with What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours by Helen Oyeyemi. This is actually a short story collection by Helen Oyeyemi all about keys, some metaphorical, some physical, um, but I do really love this spine. I think this spine is absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, and just in general, short story collections are kind of nice for a readathon, um, and this one was just the prettiest spine of the short story collections I hadn't read yet. And challenge number seven is to read seven books. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, of the books I've shown you guys here, I promise only probably two, maybe three of them are gonna get read because I'm gonna be super busy that week. Um, I'm going to try to read as much as I can, I just can't make promises. <laughs> but this is my TBR for the book Tubathon. Hopefully I can get, like I said, as much read as possible, but we'll see. Because I shouldn't be participating in a readathon that week, but oh boy, am I! Alrighty, guys, I would love to know down in the comments below if you guys are participating in Booktubeathon. If you are, please link me to your TBRs or let me know what you're reading. If you like what I do, I upload videos on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And I'll see you guys soon with another one. Bye.